Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at uh, additional maths form four, chapter one, which is function. And this is one of the subtopic determining domain object, image, and also the range. So we start off with a simple example. So even here you have an arrow diagram of two sets. One is P, one is Q under the function power of two. So um, the, the arrows is uh, from the left to the right, meaning that this will be your domain. Okay, so to find the domain, you list out everything uh, in this set, which is 3, 2, negative 2, and negative 3. So be careful here because you need to write this in the set notation, uh, because domain is a set. Then after that, we need to write, uh, we need to find the, the core domain, which is set Q here. So you write 9, comma, 4, comma, and 0. So since this, this is a set, so all the elements should be separated with commas. Now, we go look for objects. So all these here, all these numbers here are objects. So you just write this down, 3, 2, negative 2, negative 3. Whereas image are uh, the numbers which is uh, uh, related to the object. The number zero here is not related to any of these objects here, so it's not considered as an image. So the answer is nine, then four. Lastly, for the range, range is the set of all the images, so which is nine, four. Again, range is a set, that's why we need to write this in the set notation. Now we go to uh, example number two here. We have example of a function which is written in the function notation. Or we can also write this in this form. fx equals to x plus 4. It refers to the same thing. And given that x equals to this set, we want to state the domain, object, and also the range. So given that, uh, given this, actually this refers to the domain. So you can just write the answer here, which is domain equals to the set of negative 1, 1, and 3. An object is actually uh, the one given as well, the elements in the domain as well. So object, you just copy this again, negative 1, 1, and 3. Finally, for the range, you need to calculate because... Uh, to find the object, uh, to find the range, you need to first find the image for each of the objects here. So remember, everything here is is object. So all the axes are object, whereas this part, all of these are image. Image. So we need to find the image one by one for each object. So we start off with f negative one, the first object here. So f negative one equals to negative one plus four, which is Neg uh, which is 3. When x, uh, when x is uh, 1, so it becomes 1 plus 4, you get 5. When x is 3, so 3 plus 4, you get 7. So all the answers here, these 3, 5, and 7, are the image. Oh, all these are the images. So range is the set of all images, which is 3, 5, and 7. The second subtopic that we are going to learn now is determining the image of a function given an object and vice versa. Meaning that given the image you need to find, uh, given the object you need to find the image. So we have this uh, example here first. Um, we have a function f, x equals to 4x minus 1. So we want to find the image of x equals to 3. So x equals to 3 here actually is an object. So always remember, x here is always an object, while this part here, the answer is always image. So if you are clear with this, then we can start. Uh, since given x is equal to 3, you just substitute x into with 3. So the 4, we write 4 here, and the x is substitute with 3. And you get 4 times 3 is 12 minus 1, which is 11. So the image of x equals to 3, or the image of the object 3, is 11. That's it. Then if we look at exercise number 4, 
we are given a function fx equals to 4x minus 1, the same uh, function. But now, what is different here is you need to find the object when given the image of 11. As I said just now, this is the x here is an object, whereas the 4x minus 1 is image. So the image given is 11 means that 4x minus 1 is equals to 11. So we just solve this, you get 4x equals to 11 plus 1, you get 12. So x equals to 12 over 4. So you get x equals to 3. So when the image is 11, the object, which is x here, is equals to 3. Now we try a, a more challenging questions. So given a function m, x equals to the modulus x plus 3, find the values of x if mx equals to 10. So you see here mx and this mx are the same, meaning that modulus x plus 3 is equals to 10. So we can write modulus x plus 3 is equals to 10. But when we want to write equals to 10, actually the modulus x plus 3 here, we can refer to uh, equals to 10 here, it can refer to two cases. The first case is x plus 3 is positive equals to 10. And the second case is negative. Uh, x plus, uh, negative x plus 3 equals to 10. So you just solve both of these. From this first case, you get x equals to 10 minus 3, you get 7. And from this case, you get x plus 3 equals to negative 10. And then x equals to negative 10 minus 3, which is negative 13. So the values of x here, so please careful. You see when they have uh, values means uh, there are at least two answers. So the x equals to 7 or negative 13. The same question, <clears throat> the next question is uh, similar. So you're given this function, g equals to modulus 2x minus 5. Find the values of x such that gx equals to 9. So since gx and gx is the same, meaning that 2x, the modulus 2x minus 5 is equals to 9. So I can write modulus 2x minus 5 equals to 9. And this, uh, we can separate it into two cases. The first case where 2x minus 5 equals to 9. The second case, we put a negative here, equals to 9. We solve for the first one. We get 2x equals to 9 plus 5, which is 14. So x equals to 14 divided by 2, you get 7. And the second one, you get 2x minus 5 equals to negative 9. 2x equals to negative 9 plus 5, which is negative 4. And then x equals to negative 4 divided by 2, negative 2. So the answer x equals to 7 or negative 2. For the next question, given fx equals to ax minus 2 and f2 equals to 10, we want to find the value of a. So it's quite obvious that the 2 here we need to substitute into the function x here. Huh? So the object is 2 and the image is 10. So when you substitute 2 inside here, you get f2. From here, you get a and 2 minus 2. So I write, rewrite this, I get 2a minus 2. Given f2 equals to 10, and from what we calculate here is f2 equals to 2a minus 2, meaning that 10 is equals to 2a minus 2. So 2a minus 2 equals to 10. We solve this, you get 2a equals to 10 plus 2, which is 12. A equals to 12 divided by 2, which is 6. So the value a equals to 6. The next question. Given the function gx equals to 2x minus 9, find the value of the object that maps onto itself. Maps onto itself means that gx, when the object is x, it maps onto itself means the image is also x. So uh, we want to find the value where when we substitute into the function, we get the value itself. Like for example, example, this is not the answer, this is just example. We put uh, put one here, you get the answer of one. Yeah, the, the image and the object are the same. Yeah, this is just example. So we try to solve this. So since this is gx and gx, 
meaning that 2x minus 9 is equal to x. So 2x minus 9 equals to x. We move all the uh, unknowns to the left hand side, you get 2x minus x. The other values you move to the right hand side, you get 9. 2x minus x is x, so x equals to 9. So we can double check. We try to put 9, we try to substitute 9 uh, as an object into the function. We try. So when we when the object is 9, 2 times 9 minus 9. 2 times 9 is 18, and this minus 9 is 9. So it maps the object, uh, the object maps onto itself. Now this is just to check the answer. So the answer is 9. So we continue with uh, question D. Now here we have a graph. And this graph here, this line, shows the function of fx, which is equal to the modulus of 3 minus 2x. So the modulus here means that all the values we calculate from 3 minus 2x will be a positive value. Okay, so within a certain domain. So before we start, for this kind of graph, we need to look at the axis. For x axis, Remember, x represents object. So the x axis here, all the values here, when we want to refer to object or domain, we will refer to the x axis. Whenever we want to, so f f x is here, the y axis is f x. So whenever we want to refer to the image or core domain, domain, we will need to refer to the y axis values in mind. So now we look at the question. It says A, the domain of the function. We need to state the domain of the function. So domain, remember, refer to x, uh, x axis. So you see the, the line, the graph starts from here. From the left to the right, it starts from here until here. So for this point, the end here, the, the, uh, the respective uh, x value is negative 2. The other end, the respective value, is 3, meaning that x range from negative 2 to 3. So the domain is the value of x from negative 2 to 3. So how we write the range? We use inequalities to write the range. So if x is in between negative 2 and 3, so x is uh, greater than or equals to negative 2, and less than or equals to 3. But remember, since this is a domain, you have to write it in a set form. You cannot leave the answers like this. So in a set form, you need to write that x here, with a column, uh, is uh, represented by x, uh, the range of x here, in between negative 2 to 3. And don't forget the notation. Uh, this is the domain. And now we go to the image of 2. Image of something. So when you have the Im we are looking for image of something, this will be object. The image of an object. So object is 2, we refer to the x-axis. x2, we look at 2 here, and then we use a ruler, we draw a line here until it touches the graph. And then from graph, we draw another horizontal line until it touches 1, uh, until it touches the y-axis. So uh, y-axis here shows the value of 1, meaning that the image is 1. The same applies to the next question. It says objects of three. So the object of what? Image. The three here is image. So if image, we refer to the y-axis. So y-axis here, image three, we draw a horizontal line. And then the intersection between the horizontal line and the graph is the first point is here, which shows that x equals to zero. So the first object we have is zero. And the second object, we refer to this point where they meet again, which is 3. So it's 0 and 3. Since uh, for object and image, you don't have to write in a set notation form. So it's 0, 3. There are two answers. That's why, it's, that's why it says objects with an S. Lastly, we find the range of the function. Range is a set. Okay. So for the range, we refer to the image. So again, we look at the end. Uh, of the, the, the two ends of the graph. The first one, the highest point here is here, so it refers to 7. The lowest, the lowest point is here, even though the end is here, but the lowest part is here. So here, the respective value is 0. 
meaning that the image is in between 7 to 0, it's in between this range. So the image, how do you write the image? We write fx. fx is in between 0 and 7 means it's greater than or equals to 0, it's less than or equals to 7. But again, because this is a range, we cannot write like this, we need to write in the set notation form. So you need to include the brackets and fx with a column to mark that fx is ranging from 0 to 7.